Okay, so the instructions say classify. That's like when you go into a produce store and you say, oh, the fruit over here, they're bananas. The fruit over here, these are oranges. Then you've got apples. And maybe in the apples, there's different types. Classifying is kind of naming the types. And this says classify each triangle by its angles and by its sides. So for triangles, there are three types of angles. There are angles. So I'm going to draw an angle. Angle, oh, that those look very similar. So I'm going to put angle that is less than 90 degrees. So one of the things I tell kids, it's little, it's a cute. Little angles are cute. So these are acute angles. I mean, that's kind of a silly, you know, way, but it might help you remember. And then an angle that is exactly 90 degrees. That's just right. And right angles uh, are perpen the sides are perpendicular to each other. So they form an L and we indicate that by putting this little square down here. Okay. And, and that angle is 90 degrees. And then in a triangle, there's a possibility of having a large obtuse. So because you can have, and that's larger than 90 degrees. So if you have, if all three angles are acute, then you have an acute triangle. If one angle is 90, then you have a right triangle. And if one angle is larger than 90, then you have an obtuse triangle. Okay, those are by the angles. Now let's shift and focus on our sides. So there's three possibilities. If all three sides are the same and you indicate that by one tick mark, by the way, that means all of the angles are the same. This is called equal lateral. And all three sides are the same. Equal lateral triangle. Okay. When two sides are the same, That means the opposite angles are the same. That is an isosceles. And some students in my class, they said, said something pretty cool. And I wish I would have known which student. It was the day that I wasn't there. But one of the things that they said is that that third angle is not the same. So it's isolated. So part, the first part of isosceles so that's how they're remembering it. So two sides are the same. Two sides same. For equilateral, three sides same. And then you've got a possibility where none of the sides. So no sides are the same. And when that's the case, let me move this down. Ah, this, this would be a scalene. And how you'd show that is uh, the smallest angle opposite side would get one tick mark. The medium angle opposite side would get two tick marks. The largest angle, three tick marks. And notice the tick marks represent, so over here when two angles, uh, two sides are the same, they each have one tick mark. Over here, all three sides are the same, one tick mark. So if there are three sides, there have to be three different types of tick marks. So this is called a scalene. And again, how students mentioned it, um, scales 
on um, certain animals, they're all different. So that's how them, how they remember it. Scalene means all three sides, no side same, or a better way to say that maybe. Three different sides. It also means three different angles. This also means two same angles. This means three angles are the same. Okay, so knowing that, um, you're just going to have to kind of eyeball. That's definitely less than 90. That's because remember, 90 looks like about like that. So if you tilt this one sideways, those are all less than 90. So those are all acute angles. So we know for sure that this will be an acute triangle. Uh, but then you also have to look at, ah, one arc. So across from here, one tick mark. Two arcs, that means those two angles aren't the same. Two tick marks, three arcs, three tick marks. And now look at all three sides are different. So this is acute, an acute scaling triangle. Ah, right away. We notice that's a right. And this one is less than 90 and that one's. And so what you have to pay attention to, to know is that those aren't the same, so it can't be isosceles. So we would say that this is a right, and because in a triangle you can't have two, so I would give this three arches. So one tick mark, two tick marks, three tick marks. This would be a right scaling triangle. Okay. Ah, notice another right. So we can go ahead and put right. And then look it. Both of those are one arc. That means this side and this side are the same. So that would be a right isosceles. Okay. Ooh, this is a very large angle. That is definitely obtuse. Very much bigger than 90 degrees. So that is an obtuse triangle. And then notice it still has two sides the same or two angles the same, which means the side opposite the two angles, those two sides are the same. So that is also isosceles. So that's obtuse isosceles. And then down here, let's see. Ooh, this angle right here is the largest. And look at right about there would make that 90 degrees. So that's an obtuse. Because one of the angles is bigger than 90. And all three sides are different. So obtuse, scalene. And then it, it doesn't have the markings. All the angles. So we could say acute scalene. But I think what they want us to recognize, those sides all look the same. So this would be, and by the way, all equilateral triangles must be acute because a triangle has 180 degrees, and if all three angles are the same, are the same, divide that by three, all three angles 
are 60 degrees, which all three angles are less than 90. So acute equilateral triangle. All right, so this is how you classify triangles by their angles and their sides.